Uh, hi everyone and thank you for joining me. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a uh, well, pretty advanced topic and it's about uh, application role. So how to uh, connect to some uh, database using uh, advanced security settings, uh, meaning uh, application roles, right? So uh, let's say that I have a SQL Server. I just installed this uh, uh, SQL Server 2012 Express Edition. It's free, you can get it also from Microsoft download site. And uh, I've created a test database and inside it I have a, a table. So table one, let's see what does it contain. It contains uh, two records and uh, what I want now is to, uh, to create an application in C++ Builder that will connect to that database. Okay, so I am going to use ADO connection. Uh, I'm going to use a table data source and database grid. Okay, so I'm going to say this database grid uh, database grid uses data source and the data source uses a table and a table gets the connection from the connection. Uh, if you don't understand this part, you can always look at my previous uh, video about ADO components and I'm sure you'll get it, right? So uh, I need to use this component to connect to my database. First, I'm going to say login prompt. I don't need it. Uh, so I need to uh, generate the connection string. Uh, so what is a connection string? Connection string is a string that uh, contains every uh, information needed to connect uh, to some database. Let's see, SQL Server provider. And now let's see if he automatically recognized my local SQL Server. And here is the most important part. Use a specific username and password. The point is if you use uh, some uh, username that is able, that has privileges to write and read inside this table or any other table, you are allowing a potential attacker to discover this information and use it against you. For example, to delete everything from your database uh, or anything else, right? Uh, so uh, the potential damage is really great. Uh, and you must avoid using any uh, account information that has privileges to do anything uh, to your database. So uh, I'm not going to use any, like I said, any account that can do any damage, meaning I'm not going to use an account that can read the database, nor that can write inside the database. In fact, I'm going to say security logins. I'm going to create a new login and uh, SQL Server authentication, enforced password. I'm simply going to name it dummy. 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 Okay. Server roles, nothing user mapping. And I'm going to say that this user simply works with test database. Secure so status. Okay. Default database is test database. Okay. And now I've created this dummy user. Uh, let's see, this is my database and security users. And here it is. Okay. As you can see, uh, this user dummy cannot write, cannot read. Uh, it, it is not uh, the owner of the database. He cannot do anything, right? And that is the whole purpose, to have an account that cannot do anything. Uh, so uh, what I can, you can also, let's, let's just say these properties. Yeah, that's pretty much, we just said that he cannot, he can use this uh, test database as default, but Securables, we can also say that he cannot even see any database. So pretty much uh, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so let's use that uh, dummy. 
dummy. And he's going to use test database. Connection succeeded. Okay. And this is the connection string. So as you can see, uh, it contains user ID is dummy. Okay. Initial catalog test database. Uh, data source PC. I believe I didn't say allow password saving. Dummy. Okay. And here it is password. So pretty much everything needed to connect to my database is here. And that's why I don't uh, want to specify any account that can do a potential damage because if someone discovers this connection string, uh, well, I, like I said, it can uh, do pretty much damage to your database. Okay. And uh, now let's see. Connected. And it's connected. Let's see. Table. So dumb user cannot do anything. He cannot write, he cannot read. And that is why this ADA table does not recognize any database table, right? I'm going to uh, create two buttons here. And I'm going to say, uh, when I click, uh, for example, this button, ADA table, one table name equals table one. So we cannot uh, manually select a table name because our user dummy doesn't see it, right? So I'm going to name it uh, manually. Okay, so this is the table one. And uh, once I've done that, I'll simply say the table one open now let's see it uh, and this is what I get and this is what anyone who gets your connection string will get uh, he doesn't have any permission to even view anything from table one permission was denied and that is that was our goal so if even someone gets our connection string that he cannot pretty much do anything just he will be just denied okay so uh what is our next step well uh, our next step is uh, to get the privileges to somehow read and write inside our database table right so how to do it well uh that is why we use application role so i'm going to say uh, security application roles okay new application role and in here i'm going to say um, my application for example application role password is my application my application i don't need to uh, specify any uh, schemes and uh, what i'm going to do now let's see I'm just say okay now my application uh, role is created uh, I'm going to say properties and go to securables search so uh, what I just created is a means that my uh, in which my application can connect to this test database and to be able to write inside table one but still I need to define what my application role can do so I will need to say uh, search specific objects, uh, object type, table, browse, table one. Uh, okay, so I've added table one to my application role, my APP. And now I can specify what my application uh, role will allow or disallow. Or deny right so I can say I will allow select statement statement 
I will allow update. Uh, I will allow, for example, insert, but I will not allow delete. Okay. I will allow grant also. Uh, I can even uh, specify, for example, a column permissions. Um, that is a new feature from uh, SQL Server 2008, I believe. Uh, you can pretty much uh, grant on, or deny uh, permissions for each column, which is really uh, sometimes really useful. Okay, so I said that my application role, my APP, is uh, using the table one and when using the table one it can use select it can use update insert uh, alter but i will deny delete just for the demonstration okay and uh, now once i've done that i'm back at my application and somehow i need to tell my application i need to identify my application to the sql server by using application role uh, to do that, I need to call stored procedure. Uh, Edo, stored procedure. And uh, that stored procedure is going to use this Edo connection. And uh, what is the uh, stored procedure name is stored procedure. Uh, let's see. No, not data source connection. Edo connection. Stored procedure uh, set set application role. So this is the stored procedure you need to call. Uh, I believe that all those stored procedures are here. Uh, programmability, stored procedures, system stored procedures. So it it's I believe here. Set application role. Set. Oh. Here it is. This is the uh, stored procedure that we are going to call from inside our application. And by calling that stored uh, procedure, we will uh, get some privileges with this application role. Uh, so, once I've set my procedure name, I need to say uh, what are the parameters. And uh, there are three parameters that you need to specify. Application uh, role name. Role name is my app. Value my app. Password is my app. And you also need to uh, define this uh, parameter encrypt, which I'm going to say none. And uh, I also strongly recommend that I've, I've just done this for uh, demonstration purposes, but you can always define all uh, these three parameters uh, inside a, a code. For example, uh, ADO stored procedure one parameters, uh, by name, for example, role name, uh, value equals my app. Okay, why I uh, suggest that you use something like this, because if you save, save your info in this uh, format, then uh, all this information are going to sa be saved inside exe files as a resource and it is much easier to to get them right but uh, like i said this is uh, used inside uh, uh, as a compiled code so it's uh, a bit more difficult but okay i've done this like th i've done it like this just to demonstrate so you need to have these free information so my app is the role name uh, password that i used in that uh, application role is also the same and uh, encryption none so what i need to do is simply call the stored procedure ado stored procedure one execute procedure okay uh, so let's see now what happens uh, i'm just going to click button two which is going to try and open ado table one and it says here that 
he was denied because he doesn't have any permission. But now I'm going to click this button and uh, this button, uh, it called the stored procedure, which identified this application to the SQL server as uh, by using this application role. And now when I click this, now I'm allowed to see the content of my database. And I can do pretty much add uh, new records. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new button. Ada table one, delete. So uh, this is uh, when trying to uh, connect to a database using a, a dummy user, which, like I said, didn't have any type of permission whatsoever. But now I'm using the application role. And now when I use the application role, I have permissions to view my database. But I will try now to delete something. I was uh, denied. Why? Because I said in my uh, securables, my application role, I denied delete, as you remember. Okay, I denied it, but now I'll grant it. Okay. And I'm allowed to delete. And this is it, guys. Uh, I hope that you uh, understood uh, at least a part of it. Uh, and if you didn't try to rewind this video, uh, as I said from the very beginning, it is quite uh, an advanced topic, but very, very useful. Because if you simply connect to your database, by using some user that has uh, privileges to read and write, you are pretty much allowing your attacker to do, uh, well, uh, wide, uh, wide uh, damage to your database. He can uh, pretty much delete all records from your database and do whatever you want. Instead, you simply connect to your database by using some dummy user that pretty much cannot do anything with the database, not even read it. Uh, and uh, once you connect to that database with this dummy user, you simply call a stored procedure, a stored procedure that is called uh, set application role. And by using this application role, uh, you define what table uh, your application will be able to use inside and uh, what uh, permissions will your application have for this table. So it is a very, uh, very nice feature uh, in SQL Server. I believe that other databases like uh, Oracle also have this and it will allow you, uh, well, uh, to have more, uh, a bit more security when using your database clients. Uh, that's it, guys. I hope, uh, well, I hope this will be useful for you. And if you have any questions, like always, uh, leave it in your comments. Thank you and see you later.